Hello and thanks for tuning in to this new video. Now in this video I'll be going over a comparison between the Escalante Razor 2 and the Escalante 2.5. Now as you can see I'm currently wearing the Escalante Razors and this is for a good reason because Ultra is a new company, to me at least, and they have showed me that a shoe should fit differently than most shoes unfortunately do. Now if you take a regular shoe they're not designed in the shape of a foot, unfortunately. Trendy shoes do look very good, but is that the most important thing to you? It's not for me anyways, and that's why I've turned to Ultra. Now before I give you my opinion on these two shoes, I'd like to go over some of the specifications of these shoes. And for that I have to go to this website. Now over here you see the Escalante 2, and I specifically ordered the 2.5, but it doesn't really state that on the website. Now, as you can see, this foot has a six millimeter foot pad, a stack height of 24 millimeters. It has that good ultra ego midsole, and it's a little bit heavier than the racer I'm used to. Now I've weighed the shoe um, and it says it's, it's 224 grams. And I've weighed this myself and my size 10 was a little bit heavier than this. It was 240 to be exact. Now we're looking at the Escalante Racer New York edition and this is the version 2 and this is the limited edition shoe and I like everything about the shoe. It looks great, it fits great and I didn't use any products from Ultra or any barefoot shoes or shoes with white toe boxes before. Although I have used a business like shoe which I will link in the description but this was my first running shoe with a white toe box and man did I love it now if you look at the specifications you see that this only has a five millimeter foot pad and it's less high it also has that ego midsole and fortunately it's also a lot lighter than the Escalante so now the really important question which shoe should you be getting now this is a really important question and in my opinion it depends on where you're coming from. If you're just starting out and are gonna try a zero drop shoe with a white toe box because you're having issues with normal shoes, then I would say go for the Escalantes, the normal ones. The 2.5s I felt in comparison with the Racers are really soft, they have nice cushioning and they're really nice to run in. Now, if you are a more experienced runner, I would definitely go for the Escalante Racers, just because they're a lot lighter. And I really like the bounce that the sole gives me. I feel with the Racers, I have more responsiveness and I can move quicker. And not just for uh, running races, but also for daily use. I've never used the Zero Drop shoe before I started using the Ultra Racers before, and I didn't have any issues. Now to my beautiful Escalante 2.5. Am I still gonna use those? Now of course we still be using these black beauties. They're ideal for everyday use. Going to the gym, going out, long walks, exceptional. Now when it comes to running in the rain, these shoes are also a big plus because the racers do let some water in and these shoes seem a lot better for that. And they're great because they have the white toe box. Now if you have any further questions on these shoes, feel free to ask me in the comment section and please leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.